Jimmy Haslam. I started thinking about this coaching process. You brought McDaniels in. And I know what happened. McDaniels wanted full control. And if I look at Josh McDaniels, to me, he looks like a little snake. I wouldn't have gave full control to him either. If I owned a fucking franchise, I wouldn't have gave full control to him. So I believe uh, Josh McDaniels basically essentially limited himself by demanding full control. Now, as far as Stefanski goes, I didn't want him. And it's going to sound funny, the reason why. I just don't like that beard and the way he looks. Something about me. If I don't like the way someone looks, I didn't want him. And DeBall had no clue in. I didn't want DeBall at all. And then I find out we get Stefanski. Then I do some read up on him. And I'm happy. I'm happy. At first I was pissed. Because I wanted McDaniels the name. But then I started realizing McDaniels wanted everything. And you know what? McDaniels needed to be put in his place. He brought his wife. He thought he had the job. He thought he was going to demand things. And uh, he wasn't going to be able to. Jimmy Haslam said, you know what? I, I own a I'm a billionaire. This is my team. You're not going to fucking run it in the ground. If anyone's going to do that, I am. Robert Sala, I wanted based on looks. I think he kind of looks like me. I've got a guy like me on the sidelines. But I didn't want a defensive coach running Mayfield. I wanted someone offensively. Kind of took Jim Schwartz out of the equation. But I like Jim Schwartz. Um, I liked Eric Bieniemy. I really did. I thought Eric Bieniemy would have been great. Play calling was great, but let's look at the facts. Depot Testa, as I call him, Depot now, he built the Oakland Athletics with a team of nobodies, past has been talent, what a cheap, whatever, money ball. Then he came to Cleveland, he won a McDermott. Jimmy Haslam hired um, Hugh Jackson. Then he won a Stefanski last year. Jimmy Haslam and John Dorsey won a Freddie Kitchens. So I'm putting my trust in Paul DePotesta. The guy is a genius. He's also the one that orchestrated the Brock Osweiler trade to uh, get Nick Chubb. The guy's a genius. I believe in Stefanski. I looked at his numbers, uh, his, uh, his rank. He's going to be a good coach. Listen, when we hired Freddie Kitchens last year, as soon as they announced the fire and I seen him at Berea, I was sickened because I said, look at this. Fu-. The way he was acting, walking around like he was a badass. You could tell Freddie's never been in a situation like that before. And I said, this was a mistake. That day I knew it was a mistake. Today, I feel pretty confident. We got a young head coach who knows how to use personnel. And I think Jarvis Landry and old Doe Beckham Jr., Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb, and Kareem Hunt are all going to be fucking grateful to have this guy. Read articles on Stefanski. The guy's a beast. It's a fact. I was pissed at first. Like I said, I didn't like the looks of this guy. But I'm not hiring people based on looks. I got a mental illness, in case you guys didn't know that. I mean, I think you guys realized after, what, it's been 12 years? I got a mental illness. Some things are weird about me. If I don't like the looks of somebody, I'll hate them. That's just how I am. Like, there's people I see every day, I don't like the looks of them, and it just makes me sick looking at them. So, Stefanski, I'll get over that. I have in the past. He's a beast. Cleveland Browns got it right this time. We'll only the next year. Now, that being said, with this roster, if they keep it intact, there better be a AFC championship berth. No playoffs? No. There better be an advancement to the AFC title game, at least. But yeah, Stefanski, I suggest you guys read up on him. He's a good coach, and I think he's going to do wonders for this organization moving forward. Trust me. Josh McDaniels wanted too much, obviously, and um, it's about time someone put him in his place. He thought he was getting the job. He really did. After what he did to Indianapolis, I know there's people out there happy, so he wanted the job, and he didn't get it. Look, see, I don't even have to do, look, the little small Josh McDaniels on me. <laughs>